This is the interior video for 29423 Silverado Canyon. We are standing here at the X. That's the front entrance right now, and it's the functional front entrance, but this area, to me, resembles more of a, an enclosed patio. This is tiled over wood, and it's very lumpy, and yet there's a cement wall there holding it up. So, and it's, you know, very lumpy as it, as it goes. So I don't think it was professionally finished for living area. Um, this took a lot of work. I think it's just an enclosed breezeway because you got the, the original garage here, the original home there. So now that we're here going through it, we're going to go into what used to be the uh, original kitchen of the original home. Original home, I believe, goes from this corner right here, this red corner, all the way to the front, 40 feet long by 29 feet down, just a simple rectangle, that this first studded wall you see is the original rear wall all the way to the end. You have five more feet of, of a raised kind of platform there. Um, I think that's just an original um, patio, outside area, laundry area. So I'll just show you this whole thing first. This is your living room. Your original front door was here. This was affected by the fire pretty badly there. Wood got scorched all the way down to about this point. So it had central heat, I guess, at least. Here's what was confusing. It looked like this would be the original porch because all this exterior wood. It really doesn't matter, just wanted to show you this might have been the front door. Because otherwise there's no way to get directly into this into this original house here. So again, 40 by 29 gives you 1160. Now we're coming into the original kitchen, which they moved into one of the two bedrooms here. And that's the plumbing we saw with that um, improvised storage shed. We were looking back behind there. There's a couple electrical panels here. Uh, anyway, this is the latest kitchen, um, but it the original kitchen is actually here, which makes sense because it goes right into the living room. So now they've instead of the hardwood, they've you know tiled over it since then, uh, and the roof here is just wide open because everything behind here, this wall, is an addition that they were using as a third unit. And that's what burned. So that third unit started here. This was their bathroom. We're now in the outside area. This sort of porch here in this strip. Along this strip is this bathroom, this bathroom, and this area that's just not being used. So I, I think those are all outside areas. So I'll show you the addition first. Sorry if the lighting gets bad. This is where the fire was in there. I'll show that to you. This was sort of their living room. Access to the bathroom and a closet. That's where the unit ended. The funny thing is the owners having rented this out made a master bedroom out of the that addition here. They would access it through their master bathroom which is here. Uh, come down, step down into the master bedroom here. So the, the planning isn't great. That's why everything from this studded wall all the way down probably is best off just being cleared out. If you were to finish that last five feet um, here, the strip, if you were to include that, uh, the home would be 1390, I believe. And that would be probably easy to do because I think Anyway, make up your own mind. So again, here's where the fire started. And this was the kitchen of the rear unit. If you can't see anything, it's just bad. Tear down, 100% tear down. Rodents are getting in. There's rodent droppings, spiders everywhere. So there's just nothing to be saved. It's not well planned. Um, it wasn't very practical. This is an outside entrance, I think. 
it's walled off now. Here's that patio area that's not part of the rear house. I think the rear wall of the house was here. Anyway, uh, here's the kitchen, another view of what it's got to deal with. We're again standing in one of the original bedrooms that was lately used as a kitchen. Here's your Jack and Jill bathroom here, your original bathroom. This is where the furnace used to be. Maybe the water heater too. Show you the underneath but i bet the lighting is pretty poor yeah it is so just hold it steady you can see just the quality of things it's the original house and this is your one of the original uh two bedrooms is here so this got affected all the way down the length of the home Okay, six minutes here. We're gonna go now into the converted garage, which I doubt was done with the benefit of permits. So we're gonna walk straight into it like this. Sorry about that. So this is where the bedroom begins, this wall here. And we're gonna pass through into it. Here's just a uh, laundry room and the, another electrical panel. Put a 240 there, oil panel. And then begins what's a practical bedroom. That would be your opening to your garage before the uh, storage shed sort of cuts off access at this point. So all this can be, you know, used for parking if you made a door out of that. So it's a very practical one bed, one bath. That's a water heater enclosure there. This is their entrance, outside entrance, into a small living room. A little closet. This has vaulted ceilings. Tiny kitchen here. And a five by five bathroom here. So that's what this is. I got a little, I showed you this on the outside video. And that really wraps this up. Um, they got a wall here. The permit history should be pretty interesting. I don't know if you can see how lumpy this floor is. Why I consider it to be just an outside deck. I got covered at some point. Anyway, uh, that's, how I mapped it out. So uh, thanks for watching.